All right, everybody. Welcome to episode 307 of Psycho's Platters, always powered by coffee each and every time. This time, I promised a review episode. Yes, I did. What is the Mighty Psycho going to go off and review today? New Firefall album, Comet. That's right. Firefall has got a brand new album. Just came out on Sunset Boulevard Records. So, this is the ninth studio album that Firefall has put out, and it is also the first since their album Messenger from 1994. I'll show you the back for a second here, because here's your current lineup. Three original members are in the band. You've got Jock Bartley. Jock Bartley's been there forever, since 1974 when the band started. Uh, Mark Andes returned back in 2014, which is really, really nice. Of course, Mark was uh, formerly in Spirit. Jojo Gunn would go on to work with Hart and many other bands as well. And uh, also, since 2011, David Muse has been a member. Uh, he previously uh, worked with Marshall Tucker Band, which is what, how I met David. Uh, also, to fill it all out, you've got summer drummer <laughs> Sandy Fica. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, who's been a member since 1984. And lastly, Gary Jones, who's been on guitar since 2014. So special guests, I'll show you this little bit here, okay, it's a trifold. Special guests on the album, Tim B. Schmidt, of course, from Eagles and Poco. Uh, he's on Nature's Way, along with John McPhee from the Doobie Brothers is also on that track. Um, John Jorgensen, uh, who was uh, in uh, Desert Rose Band with Chris Hillman, and, uh, and Elton John he worked with, and uh, Mike Nesmith, and others. He's on here, too on uh, Way Back When, along with uh, former Firefall member Steven Weinmeister, who was there from 1993 to 2014. Ten new tracks on this album, two of them are covers, of course, the aforementioned Nature's Way, which originally was done by Spirit, and Ghost Town, which was a 1977 track of Tony Joe White when he wrote that back then. There are so many favorite tracks on this album. I really, I mean, I've been a Firefall fan since almost since the beginning, to tell you the truth, but I was pleasantly surprised with this album. Um, my favorite tracks way back when, Real Fine Day, uh, Nature's Way, I really like the take that they did on Nature's Way um, for that one. Uh, Younger, uh, There She Is, um, Ghost Town, I loved what stood out on Ghost Town to me was David Muse's flute part. It was almost like you were in the same room. It was that close of sound. I really liked his work on that. Um, this next one, Never Be the Same. I'm going to send this out to Firefall, too, so uh, bear with me. Gary, Gary Jones, the one who wrote this and his guitar player, um, thank you for writing this song. It kind of hit me real, real deep. I don't know who you wrote this song for or who it's about, and that's none of my business, but my wife passed away in January 2019, and uh, just the lyrics of that song, it took me immediately back to her, okay? And that's a good thing. So thank you, Gary, for writing Never Be the Same um, Before I Met You, and uh, there's no fillers here, seriously, it's a... Uh, it's a nice batch of ballads and mid-tempo music. Um, the cheapest place that you can get this thing right now, currently, seriously, through Sunset Boulevard Records, through Bandcamp, $12.99 and shipping. Uh, like I said, go check out the video. that You can check out all the audio clips on, on Sunset Boulevard Records, and they have the video for way back when. Uh, and also, I saw on the uh, Firefall Facebook page, just in the last few days, that um, Crossing Fingers that there's plans for a 2021 tour that's going to be a package deal. You've got Firefall and Foghat, Atlanta Rhythm Section, and Pat Travers are all going out. Uh, I hope so. That would be an excellent summer tour. And if Firefall comes to my neck of the woods, I would love to personally meet them and just tell them, and tell them exactly how much that I love this album. So like I said, if you're a Firefall fan, if you're a fan of just really good, um, soft and mid-tempo stuff, you know, this stands out at times. It's, it's a, it sounds like it was an up and fun album to make, but yet reflective at times. And that's a good thing. 
So like I said, guys, go get this album. You won't be sorry. Go check it out on Sunset Boulevard Records. And until next time, take care, God bless, and rock on.